morning everybody hey just uh gonna talk to you guys a little bit today i'm headed to the mountain just to do some help a neighbor with some fencing projects but uh thought it might be interesting to show you guys what i usually take to the mountain with me on the on an out or a day like today uh, so you guys have seen a lot of videos uh with my favorite handguns 45 auto this guy is the sig 227 the double stack 45 ACP uh, exposed hammer double action. It's it's essentially the 226 45 auto version. I haven't shot or I haven't had this gun very long, but I really like it. Super accurate. I did a video. I had to replace the magazine catch on it. Uh, I did a pretty extensive video on that. So anyway, this is the gun that if I'm on a uh, four wheeler side to side, this is the gun I carry on the mountain. So here's. My other gun I carry. This is my new AR-15. This is a Palmetto State. Uh, this guy we got off, uh, just ordered off the internet as the kit. Comes with the Mobus flip-up sights and then I put a, a Eagle 1-8 to on it. Uh, just I've just barely got this gun running. Um, I've only had it well, we, a couple weeks. We put it together, got this, the scope on it, got it sighted in. I've, I've only shot it really one time at the range. I need to do a video on it because this is a pretty sweet rig. Now, I've heard some people say this is the new saddle rifle because they are so stinking handy. Got the collapsible stock, 16 inch barrel. Uh, this is a pretty neat little rig. You know, the, the joke between me and my son is that uh, if you don't want to see a coyote going to the mountain, uh, be sure and take your AR. And which is kind of the truth, for whatever reason, uh, I've packed this thing days up there, never seen anything. And just a few weeks ago, I didn't take the extra time to throw it in and sure enough coyote standing right on the road so also been bringing this 17 hmr this is a savage bolt action um it's got a, a burst scope on it uh, this little guy is a ton of fun i kind of fought the 17 hmr gig here for years guys at work talked me into it glad they did they, this is a sweet little outfit shoot a lot of the, we got those uh, little gophers up there the whole digging little devils. Uh, so we, we tried to keep them thinned down a little bit. Shot several prairie dogs with this out of my hayfield. Love this 17 HMR. So I'm going to show you these gloves that I wear. So when I'm fencing, I wear these elk skin gloves. Elk skin gloves are really not that easy to come by. The only place I've found them is a company called Yellowstone. They're actually manufactured up in Idaho Falls, Idaho. Um, and what's, what's nice about these gloves, they come in sizes. They don't come in small, large, extra large, whatever. They come like, like I wear a 10 and a half. I have 10s, 9s, 9 and a halfs. So these gloves can really fit you well. They're not cheap, you know, that's $30, $40 pair of gloves. Um, when I'm fencing, I like the elk skins. They're just a little bit heavier than a regular cowhide or a deer skin. So uh, these are the gloves I like. Um, I don't know, uh, they're hard to find. Anyway, we'll take you for a ride today. I'm going to show you guys my hayfield here, just pulling out of the driveway at my house. Um, it's been a strange year. We have had a little bit of rain, and uh, I want to flip the camera and show you guys this hay. I don't know, don't know if you guys can see that, but kind of my gauge is always when the hay makes it to the pipe on the wheel line, that's a pretty good cut of hay. Um, that hay has only been watered one time between first and second cutting. But we've had rain. It rained here yesterday for five minutes. And we've had a lot of those little quick rains. Um, been hot. Holy cow, it's been hot. We've seen, uh, you know, upper 90s a lot. Even I think we've even broke 100 a couple times. But with that little bit of rain and that kind of heat, that hay has just shot up. So I think I'll be cutting hay tomorrow. Just starting to get a little bit of purple in it. All right, guys. Well, just finished up helping a neighbor up here on the mountain. Uh, He's not too interested in the YouTube deal, so I wasn't able to do any filming on the project I was working on, but uh, been an interesting day. It has rained on us almost all day up here. Um, just a real light sprinkle. Um, I look, been kind of nice, a little cooler, super humid, of course, but uh, I tell you, I haven't seen hardly an animal at all up here. Usually we can see some deer along the road and a few things and uh, maybe shoot a pot get squirrel once in a while, but uh, there's been nothing out. I think this rain, everybody's just kind of hunkered down, so. Uh, it's sure green. Sure looks nice up here. I'll flip the camera around. 
just amazing how uh, usually this time of year these bottoms are just uh, you know it's been so hot but, but we've had to have some rain up here because it looks pretty dang nice uh, you know the creek's still running pretty good and uh, I think it's going to turn out to be a pretty nice year really so Alrighty, well I think we're going to wrap that up for today. Appreciate everybody watching. Please subscribe.